Okay. I think this thing's going to work, hopefully. Um, I've just got my little recording device here. And, uh, well, okay, so this, this video um, is going to be about developing and making characters. Now, I'm not an expert, but like, some people spend their free time world building. I spend my free time character building because I love the ideas uh, around characters. Now, this character in particular is going to be... Um, I, I'm, I'm going to give you examples with uh, a character, so I'm just going to run through, through it. Um, and this character uh, is specifically going to be made using um, a D&D &D system. Um, now, this isn't like a professional way of making characters. Uh, this isn't the only way. This is just um, I tried to break down my thought process when I was making characters and make it um, applicable for other people. So this is going to be like a little series about character development, hopefully. Um, but the first thing about building a character in my mind is to have a vague idea or, or something like that. Just It can be small, it can be big, it can be... Um, but it just has to be something. Something to start your character on. Um, doesn't have to be anything particularly about your character. It could just be like, um, I want to make someone who's had a, a ruined past and uh, all their family members have died. You know, that's, that's something you can build off of that. Um, but using uh, the Dungeons and Dragons uh, system, I decided I wanted to make a character who was a were-tiger um, and some type of uh, healing class. Um, I'm not going to get into the specifics for those of you who don't play D&D. &D. This isn't supposed to be about D&D. &D. But um, some sort of uh, the ability to heal other people using magical powers, right? Um, so using that, I broke down those two things and so you, you start with your big idea. That's the first step um, in my thought process. Is you, well, it doesn't have to be a big idea. You start with your idea. And then you break down your idea into uh, at least you want one or two stages. So in this one you have the were-tiger stage and, the, uh, and also um, the healing stage. Um, and you know this is the basis. Um, so for the were-tiger I broke it down into the five, you know, why, when, who, where, how. Um, and those aren't always applicable for every little breakdown, but they're a little helpful in just getting the generalization. So I said why, um, actually that should be what. Yeah, I did this in my free time, so don't judge me. Anyways, so like what uh, he got, he became a uh, were-tiger, um, why or because... Uh, he got bit by one, so it's not like he was naturally born a were tiger. He got bit by one. Uh, when uh, I just put a random number in my hat, say he got bit by one when he was ten. Okay. Uh, who? Um, and, and I said an sanist who is dead now. It's just a very simple. I'll come back to that later. I have ideas for that already, but I'm going to come back to it later and focus on it later. Um, next is where, um, the city that he grew up in. Just very simple, nothing nothing more. Just, okay, so there's a city that he grew up in. These things impor are important for later. Um, and finally, the the how. And I said, okay, so this insanist uh, escaped uh, from somewhere. Uh, he, he got into um, um, this, uh, this, this person's, he's a he because, you know, in d and I only really play male characters because, you know, that's a, we're not going to have this conversation. Anyways, <laughs> it's just hard. Anyways, <laughs> um, so he's, he's, the, this insaneist was trying to escape, ended up in my character's house, and, um, he was just trying to escape, and was like, and I have here in parentheses, cornered animal. You know, he was acting like a cornered animal. It wasn't like he was violently trying to, um, kill my character. He was a cornered animal. Um, and so then I broke down the, the healer step two. So why did he become a healer? Um, so he, he suffered from his condition and he has, uh, you know, suffered ridicule and ridicule and, uh, you know, a variety of other things. 
because of his condition. Uh, and he also uh, wants to be able to help people with uh, their physical problems. So he, he wants to be able to heal people. I'll get back into that more later. Um, but the when. Um, so he became a healer, I said, um, 30 years of age. This isn't set in stone. I think I actually might change that one, but I'm not going to change it now. This is what I wrote down. Um, the who. Um, so who helped him become a healer um, of whatever kind? Uh, I said here, a priest of, and I put a blank because I didn't know um, what exactly uh, I wanted to be there. I didn't know, but just some sort of priest, some religious in individual. And the where, some uh, temple or monastery-like place, you know, just a religious place. Very simple. Uh, doesn't have to be too complex. And the how, um, so he, and I wrote down here, he was roaming like a vagabond and ended up at the doors, you know. So these are very, very simple. I just broke down what I had of my idea and broke it down into steps that I can come back to later and flesh out my character. And we'll get back uh, next time and do that. Thanks. Bye.